Hi guys, so to start off, I guess I should explain to you what 3D origami is. So unlike traditional origami, which you take a square piece of paper, generally, and you fold it into a different shape like a flower, 3D origami only requires a one shape of piece, it's a, like a triangle, and what you do is you stack them together and make other shapes using the same exact pieces. And you keep doing that and you build different shapes like this. It's uh, supposed to be the white angry bird, if you guys can't tell. But in this video, I'll show you guys uh, the basics on how to fold one of these triangles. And in the next video, I'll show you guys one of my recent projects. So to start off, you'll want to get some color paper of your choice. I'm using white just for simplicity's sake. And you can stack uh, however many sheets uh, you feel comfortable cutting through. Uh, right here, I have three. So you want to stack them. It doesn't have to be precise, because later when we fold, we'll be able to correct any miscuts that we have. Start off by folding it in half. Just cut down the line. And then we're cutting down the middle. Fold it a third time. But by now the paper is getting pretty tough to cut. So from this point on, I won't be stacking them anymore. Fold them again. This is fold number four. Cutting down the middle. One more time for fold number five. When you're done, you'll have a stack like this. They're actually not very even. But that's okay, because when we fold, we can adjust for that. When you're cutting, you want to make sure you have a firm grip on the papers, because they'll move as you cut. And that's part of the reason why these don't end up the same size. It's because the paper shifts as you're cutting through. If you guys are really bothered by the uneven edges, you can always take papers out and cut smaller stacks. And as you can see, these are a lot more similar in their sizes. So in the end, we have a stack of folding papers. Right. Now each sheet will give you 32 pieces. So we have three sheets here, that's 96 pieces. So to start folding, we take one of these sheets and we fold it in half, hot dog way, and then fold it in half again. Looks like that. And we open it up. And you see this line in the middle? We're going to fold the edge. See the, the openings over here? Oh, the lighting is bad, sorry. Openings over here, we're going to fold the closed end up to the midway point. We're going to do the same with the other end. So it looks like that. Okay, the openings are up here. Okay. Then we take these ears and we fold them in. Like that. And we fold them down. Like that. And then we close them up like that. So in the end, you have like a two-pronged triangle. Okay, this is the back, this is the front. It's got kind of like rabbit ears. And underneath, you have two uh, slits where you can stick uh, other pieces. So, we got some red ones over here for uh, reference. So once you build more of these, you can stack them on top of each other like that, or if you have two on the bottom and one on top, like that. 
and you can start building in kind of a triangle pyramid fashion. Okay. And later on you can stack them and turn them into circles and other shapes. Okay. So those are the basics. And I mean it may seem a little difficult at first, but once you get used to it, you can fold these pretty quickly. Uh, you can do it while you're watching TV. Uh, in class, if you're able to pay attention, don't get yelled at by your teachers. And this is probably the most tedious and boring part of the whole project, but this is what makes 3D origami so special, is because it does take a lot of time and effort. And so, uh, and so the final product looks exceptionally good because it's very detailed. And on a side note, uh, some of the pieces that we fold, that we cut weren't very pretty, so take these two pieces, for instance. One is uh, bigger than the other. This one, you can see it's smaller, it's cut over here. And this one is pretty wide, actually. Um, you put it next to each other, I don't know if you guys can see that. But this big one in the back is probably, uh, I'd say, half a centimeter bigger than this other one. So in order to compensate, you want to take the little one, and instead of folding it all the way halfway down, you want to leave maybe like a half centimeter, however much up to you, um, extra space on the end, and then just fold it like you would a normal piece of paper. There you go, another piece. And no one will notice because everything is hidden inside. Only you'll know, and we'll keep it a secret. And for the big pieces, uh, you can either trim them or you can save them uh, because later on, uh, some of the stuff you'll build will require bigger pieces. Once you start folding more, you may not want to leave them as uh, individual pieces because that takes up a lot of room. I like to leave them in stacks of 20 uh, just so it's easier to keep track of how many I have, and also it takes a lot less room to store. So that's my intro video on how to do 3D origami. I hope you guys found it useful. If you guys are interested, I suggest you check out Julia7777's channel. 7777. Uh, 7777. She's got a lot of videos and tutorials on things that you can build with 3D origami. Uh, you can check out her channel over here. She's a very sweet girl and she's got a lot of experience building these things. And I apologize if this video was a little more uh, instructional than it was funny, uh, so I'll end with a joke. What are Mario and Luigi's favorite kind of pants? Denim, denim, denim. <laughs>